Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Let's Stay in Gamers, and welcome. So today we're looking at something very different. Not a ship, not a plane, not an aircraft, not a troop transporter, a treehouse. Yes, I, I could not resist missing the opportunity to cover this. I said this as soon as the ladders update came out, that someone out there has got to be working on a treehouse. And here we have Black Armour's treehouse. We've seen some of his designs before, but we've not seen anything that this crazy from him. So let's actually have a look around the treehouse itself. So you can see the actual tree has been made of normal armour blocks. And to make the sort of really cool floristy, bushy type leaf area at the top, he's just used a variety of different blocks. So if you ever came to camouflage one of your designs, this could definitely be a technique. So as we come down, we work our way through all these cool little branches. You can see how it's curved out from the center. And I have tried building a treehouse from a standard tree, but you have some issues with the collision and whatnot. So as we come down to the bottom, we are met with the base of the tree here. And we, what, what I'm trying to do is not break the... Fuel. Bro Critical. break this yes i've broken it broken i've broken the swing already of course clan can claim that let's uh <laughs> let's enter into the treehouse so we're going to hit this button this lowers the ladder down very nicely and we can access into our secret tree layer now as a kid i always really wanted a treehouse and there was a tree in my back garden but i never got the opportunity to build anything in it and then once the tree came down, the opportunity to build a treehouse there was just never met. So let's keep climbing up here. You can see the detail on each individual section. So this is the swing that Aaron just snapped off. That was there at the beginning. But you can see we've got the individual controls. We've got press one to draw back and then one again to release. So you've got the basic treehouse features. But I like how they've built these steps going up the sides. And of course, this is all small ship armor blocks as well. So this allows you to go a li little bit more in detail. So as we continue climbing up to the higher levels, we enter into pretty much the center of the tree. And what I'd really like to see as well, wow, this is really cool. I saw these from outside, these little fans to keep this sort of couch command center sort of cool. So you can see the lights light up there. We've got the sofa, we've got the solar panels, you've got everything you need to survive. There's just something about looking out the window from your treehouse that's super relaxing. We've got a road mirror picture in that direction. We've got the classic cooking stove with the cut down blocks. Looks really nice, that kitchen. And we've built a fridge there. These are some great ideas if you wanted to build fridge or smaller items within your ship or station. So as we come around here, we also have ourselves a set of seats ready for dining for two by the look of it, even though there's only one plate. And we've got a nice picture of flowers. And as we come across this little section, this little catwalk, that's really damn cool. You come into the second area of the treehouse that makes use of the survival kit as a respawn point. And above the survival kit is a small bunk bed. Just a really cool idea, good use of space as well. Taking consideration that survival kit would take up that whole area normally and you wouldn't have anything on top of it. So into this section, it looks like we've got a cut down gyroscope on top of a cargo container. We've got some more cargo storage in that section, as well as a little control pad so you could write your journal for the day from your treehouse adventure. And then of course, you've got to have an area to lounge about as well. So you can see we've got a little bed, a little bit of a cushion there, as well as a cut down warhead acting as a little bit of a drinks holder so you can sip your drink on the side. So now there is some quite cool features. Let's have a show you of the solar panels first. So if I get my spectator camera, we bring it up to this higher level. You see the solar panels are tucked within that section. And if we activate the solar panels for a bit more solar energy, if I'm correct, they will fold out like so. Really cool idea indeed. Really sort of stealthy. It hides them in the design in the day when you need a little bit more power to power up your base, charge your batteries. It's a really cool concept. But we need to make it up to the next level. So as we took ourselves back into here, you notice this little ramp here that takes us really nice into this balcony sort of dining area. We've got the plates laid out all ready for us. We've got the lighting above on this sort of, is it veranda? I'm not too great at this. I'm more of a spaceship builder than an interior designer, as you can tell. But just look at the railings. Look at the detail in that black armor's put into this. Really nice indeed. And of course, we've got a bathroom because without any station ship, without a toilet, it's pretty much useless. So we've got the mirror up there. We've got a bit more lighting so you can see what you're doing while you're shaving. And then if we continue over into this section, we've got ourselves this really cool hidden away bookcase. So these are just half armor blocks colored. And some of the other blocks that I've cut down, that one looks like a little bit of a globe on display, as well as a piston up there. And this leads around to this other balcony for lounging about. Really nice indeed. So let's just zoom out and have a little bit of a look at the top of it. 
So this treehouse has really come together. It's quite an advanced treehouse, and you can see how it scales with the character really well indeed as well. I would love to hear what Black Armor's inspiration was this for. Had he seen a treehouse? Was it a bit of a take from Star Wars? Where the Jabbers are running around, it's not the Jabbers, is it? The Ewoks, when the Ewoks are running around between the trees, was it a little bit inspired by that? Or was it just the, the want for someone to build a treehouse? This has really tempted me, though, to, to try to construct a treehouse from the original type tree sets. It's just sad that they've not got any larger trees to work with, because if there was a larger tree like this one, you could definitely guarantee that people were building stations, hangers in them, all sorts of crazy things. And then the worst could happen. Someone with bad driving comes along, hits the bottom of your tree house, and the whole tree comes tumbling down. A great little design. So I'm going to show you this solar panel as well. So if we just take ourselves down to the second floor once again, we took it down into here, and we retract the solar panel for the second. So you can see how that section there folds out, and this little flap covers it there as well. So just how, how cool is that? We'll watch it fold out again. So the flap comes up, the solar panel folds out, this is the perfect sort of preppers secret hideout within the forest. If you decide to build one of these guys in, maybe have it as like a backup station or outpost where you could keep an eye on the enemy faction, keep your signals off and keep it really secret. And from a distance, you can see how it starts to blend in with the trees, but still it is quite obvious the colors do need to be coded to whichever environment that you've came or brought yourself into so darker leaves maybe a bit of darker bark in this section but still a very cool treehouse that in a lot of cases you might just fly over you can still see it's quite eye popping out though maybe due to the shadows the shadows are not quite the same as they're cast on the regular trees anyway let's thank you guys for watching and if you want to check out this design for yourself that i really recommend you do there'll be a link down to it in the description below check it out make sure you support these creators and i will see you next time